humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous part, I traveled across the land of Hyrule and found all of the geoglyphs, and in the process, I found all of the dragon tears, which allowed me to view cutscenes that allowed me to better understand the story of this game. And let me tell you, it's an interesting story, but it paints a grim picture. Also, it turns out Zelda's a dragon or something, I don't know. But anyway, in this part... Well, actually, at the tail end of the previous part, I was speaking to Impa, and after I spoke to her, she said that she'd return to Kakariko Village, so I imagine that my time in here is done. So in this part, I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock out some other main quests. See that whole Dragon's Tier Geoglyphs thing? That was a main quest, and that got me thinking, well, the Regional Phenomena main quest is kind of what set me on my adventure in the first place. That had me go around Hyrule and fight all of those temples and all of that. So now that that's done, all I really have to do is go back to Lookout Landing and see what Pyrrha wants me to do, right? So why don't, I, why don't I do exactly that? Let's go ahead and get rid of the travel medallion. I think my time in here is completely finished. We can see all the geoglyphs on the map now. That's pretty cool. So we'll go to Lookout Landing. We'll see what Pyrrha wants. And maybe that'll help set the trajectory for this video because we're in part 99 of this walkthrough. I have done so much other stuff since Pyrrha initially sent me on this quest. And I figure it's been a year since this game came out. Right, so how about to celebrate the one year anniversary of this game, I'll go back to where it all started, more or less. I guess where it all started would actually put me back in the sky, but I'll have plenty of opportunities to go back there and see what else I need to do over there. For now, let's consult the Pura and see what she wants me to do now. And if this doesn't help, then maybe I'll go back to Kakariko Village and I'll see if I can find Impa there. Maybe that'll help me get some better sense of direction because there are still plenty of main quest things that I have to do. Also, thank you, Yellow Circle, for specifically telling me that Pura is over here. Oh, inside the laboratory. You know, I have not really gone inside that building, so it makes sense as to why it would not be my first instinct to just wander over there. So let's try this again. Pura, I'm ready to move on with the plot of this walkthrough. I mean, I started moving on with the plot in the previous video, and now that we're at part 99, which is near part 100, it feels only appropriate to continue the trend of moving on with the plot, and I can only do that if I speak to you first. Are you upstairs? Are you on these ladders? I guess it makes sense as to why I haven't moved on with the plot previously, because I have not been in here previously. At least not extensively. Pura, are you sleeping? Oh, do I need to read this? Read Pura's diary? I better not! I better not! That's an invasion of privacy. But if I keep going up, maybe I'll find Pura? Oh, oh, but no, there is a ladder to the side here. Yep, that explains why I never moved on with this main quest, because I just never really came over here. Never really did a whole lot in Lookout Landing. Linky, I heard what happened. The major cold front that descended upon the Rito and the marbled rock roast that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. Then there was the sludge contaminating the Zora's water and finally the Gerudo menaced by Gibdos in a sand shroud. You faced some serious challenges and you overcame all of them. Well done, Link. So, the person resembling Princess Zelda was behind the scenes for all the phenomena, as you discovered. This has to be related to the upheaval somehow. And I have something important to share as well. Hmm? Well, see, I now know from collecting all of the dragon's tears that that can't be Zelda. Zelda's being busy being a light dragon in the sky. Yeah, the spoiler alerts for that. But I do know that Ganondorf was manipulating a puppet of Zelda, so that's probably what you saw. So, Linky, did you see that? That was the princess, wasn't it? I was going to share that I saw a figure that looked an awful lot like Princess Zelda at a Hyrule castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. I thought she'd left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We have to hurry and rescue her. The soldiers and I can't reach Hyrule Castle as it is now. You might be the only one who can do it. But that's not even her. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Link. I know I'm always throwing you into dangerous situations, but you really are the only one up to the task. Please, come back in one piece. That applies to both you and the princess, got it? All right, well, that main quest is done. Cool, it only took me 99 parts, but I did it. All right, now I gotta go and do Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to push the plot forward and all, but I hope I don't start fighting some final boss stuff now. Well, I guess I can go over there. Much is unclear, but you should go to Hyrule Castle to check things out. Well, I did want to push onward with the plot to follow up from all the monumental stuff I did in the previous video. But the final boss is gonna be in the depths, right? It's not gonna be in the castle. I don't really want to fight the final boss right now. This might be a little too plot heavy for the time being, but I suppose I can always go ahead and check it out. And if I do wind up fighting the final boss right now, then I'll spin it a different way. I guess it would be similar to how I did things in Breath of the Wild, parts 99 and part 100 were me defeating the final boss of the main game and then everything after that was post game and DLC stuff. As far as this walkthrough is concerned, I could spin it as, well, I still need to do all the side quests and get all the Korok seeds, but if I happen to fight the final boss now, it's okay. I would just rather not. Pushing onward with the plot, I want to do that, but I don't know if the final boss is going to be in Hyrule Castle or if it's going to be somewhere in the depths. It's unclear. Link. Link. Come to me. I am waiting. Waiting for you. Oh dear. I don't know about this. This might just be a little too plot heavy. I suppose, since I'm already over here, well, actually, I don't know if I want to fight too many enemies. Okay, hang on. So you're on, what floor did you say you were on? Oh, you're just, you're just like, first floor basement. Right, so this is the first floor. Easy peasy. And where am I? Where am I exactly? I, I'm, I'm like, anywhere else, right? You just need me to go down. Right? You, re you really want me to go down and go to- okay, you know what? I don't quite understand how this Hyrule Castle map works. I don't know that I should even be engaging in combat with a lot of enemies over here, but if they want to- if they want to strike at me, well, I might just fight back. Okay, so I'm on B3 now. I guess we gotta go up? I th in fact, I, I think I kind of understand- well, no, I do and I don't know where she is. B1. Okay, so this is B3. I'm gonna go through this way anyway. Even if it's completely roundabout, I always have the ascendability to get me the heck out of here. And besides, maybe I can find some Korok seeds along the way. But that's not a top priority. It's just a nice bonus. Here we go, the library, the library. Yes, I do briefly remember the layout of the Hyrule Castle. Rather, I don't remember the layout. I just remember some of the rooms that were inside the castle. And I do remember the library, the library. All right, soldiers claim more. Oh, can't carry any more weapons. Yeah, I just got my weapon stash expanded like two videos ago and I'm already full, filled to the brim with all sorts of weapons. So I'm good. Uh, I guess we can ascend through this. It, it's okay, it's okay, it's building suspense. It's a nice excuse to go back through the Hyrule Castle and see what the heck I've missed. And I mean, on that note, it's a nice twist on going through Hyrule Castle, right? Because Hyrule Castle was very clearly the last area in Breath of the Wild. So coming here at all was suspenseful. Now that it's just kind of randomly here in Tears of the Kingdom, and now that I've actually already been over here to do some side quests, it's not as suspenseful. But now that I'm here trying to understand this mystery about Princess Zelda and what the heck's going on, it's nice. I like it. It's a nice spin on things. There you go. Oh, hang on. But you have something I don't think I've seen before. A steel Lysel bow? I don't have a steel Lysel bow. I've just had like a regular Lysolfos bow. Well, there you go. One less picture to buy from Robbie. And sure, I'll take that. Here we go. Steel Lysel bow. This bow is wielded by Lysolfos, who are expert marksmen. The metal that reinforces much of the weapon adds some additional weight, but offers heightened durability. Well, I'll take it. Glad I can at least carry an extra bow. All right. Hang on, I'm trying to outrun. Out. Oh, I was trying to outrun Riju's lightning sh little bubble here, but that's okay. Ah, a waterfall. Well, I know for a fact now that if I use Sidon's stuff, I can just climb to the top of this. So let me immediately put that on. Boom, boom. boom. Wait, no. Oh, no, no. Well, I mean, yes, but no. Okay, I need to have that stuff on. Okay, here we go. Up and at him. And then if I go this way, woo! We got the lightning strikes coming down and everything, huh? All right, Hyrule Castle 1F, right? This is where I need to be? Uh, no. I need to go to B1. So I'm, I'm actually a little too high. For some reason, I was like making my way toward the main grand room of the Hyrule Castle. It's fine. Working my way down should be, should actually make things easier. Okay, so in that case, 
I mean, I, I clearly have it marked on my map. Look, I'll tell you, at least the map in this game was a lot easier to understand than the map in Breath of the Wild. I think that was a correction they wanted to do. Oh, second gatehouse? Is this actually where I'm supposed to go? I think so. All right, well, let me use the front entrance. It's only appropriate if I'm finally gonna meet <clears throat> Princess Zelda. I at least want to maintain some sense of professionalism, you know what I mean? So, here's the second gatehouse. But why, oh, well, I can't go that way. So we'll go around this way, but why, why this one? Because it's much more isolated than the other gatehouses, apparently. I, I guess so. I can't even go in through the front. I guess I have to go in through the window. Very well, then. Can't say I didn't try to be professional. Oh, hey. That's her. I can't get a picture, huh? Well, oh, wait. Actually, before I do anything else, let me put the proper attire on. Let me make sure I have my master sword out, too. Because who knows what's going to happen. As for the shield, this is fine. All right, Zelda. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, we're gonna move back, we're gonna move back, and I'm gonna make sure I have all your pictures! Blast bo B Black Boss Bacoblin, Dragon Boboko Shield, Black Bacoblin, all right, looks like you're all accounted for. All right, you just want me to fight? Because I can put up a fight, I can use some more Boss Bacoblin parts anyway. Gotta make sure I get those flurry rushes if possible, though. Boom, 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 okay, I didn't quite get a flurry rush, but I can still wail on you with my Master Sword, boom, 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 okay, I wanna lock onto you now. Because you got the yellow choo-choo jelly, which I think could prove to be an integral item for this fight. Okay, yeah, don't go ahead and ignite those. I, I would like to use those. Actually, I might not even use them. I might just defeat all of you without them. Hey! All right, good hit, good hit. Oh, I, did, I just realized I'm not even at full hearts. Well, I'm fine. I don't need to be at full hearts to eliminate all of you. But getting all these Bacoblin guts, oh, that's the good stuff. All right, boom. All right, so ready? Let's take it on! Here you go, boom, 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 boom. Yep, I'm wailing, I'm mashing that Y button. I'm gonna use it the last of my Master Sword, so be it. And now we can go back to, oh, Silver Boko Spear. Yeah, this will at least give me some range. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Good stuff. All right, I'll take all of these. Technically, technically I didn't have to fight you. I could have just like warped out of here. Okay, but where, where does Zelda say she is now? Do you want to talk or what? Now you're back down a floor. Now you're really back down the floor. Okay, I gotta I gotta get to wherever that little gate is. All right, well, we're gonna drop way, way down. And if I gotta go, oh, see this this is a Korok. See, did I already get this one? Looks like I did. Yeah, I must've seen that from a while. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yes, I did, I got it, I got it. Okay, I was gonna say, cause that, that was like readily visible. I must've gotten that one a long time ago. Okay, now am I, am I still like even in the castle? No, no I'm not. Hmm, all right. Again, I can work back up to the shrine and work my way down. Guess I'm gonna have to. Uh, or, 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 or. Let me look at my zone eye devices. Do I have any more springs? Portable pots. Mm. Actually, I probably should use this real quickly. I've been meaning to cook more items that give me stamina boosting results and I just haven't done that. So I'm gonna do that right now. Just, just like one quick little thing, okay? So buy the type and then I need some stamella shrooms. Hold, 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 boom. Go ahead and cook that real quickly, all right? Give me some stamina boosting results. All right, just a quickie. And then I'll go ahead and eat some other food that'll give me some health restoration. There we go, that's the good stuff. All right, and then just regular old food. Yeah, at this point I can just eat the seafood rice balls and I'll be fine. And we're, we're good for a bit. Okay, so back up then. I can see why Pura did not want to do this. Oh yeah, but the other thing, I went to the Zonai devices so I can see if I had any more springs, and I do. So let's get two of those out. And then let's see if I can auto bit. I don't I don't have much zonite remaining. But I did have schematics for like a super spring thing. Oh, a rocket platform. I mean, I do like that. I like that a lot, but it's not what I need right now. Super spring. How about that? Oh, barely too shy, huh? Never mind then. In that case, I'll just have to use my own little spring contraptions here. All right, and this should propel me into the sky at least high enough to where I can hopefully access the waterfall. So if I do this. That might work. If I get over to this one, mm, not enough. All right, do I need a third spring? Perhaps, right? If you stack the springs, it makes it go even higher. If nothing else, it's just literal extra elevation. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Up top. Just doing things this way, because I'm hoping it'll make things easier in the long run, all right? Let's give this a try, boom. Even higher, that should do it. It looks like extra springs does provide more elevation. All right, 
Now I'll switch over to my handy dandy Zora armor and we'll go up this way. There we go. Hooray for resourcefulness. Auto build would have been nice, but there, I saved the extra zonate that I had. All right, now there are doors over here and I otherwise think I'm on the lowest possible floor, am I not? No, I gotta like manually go down. So be it, I'll go back inside the castle and I'll work my way around and I will find this Zelda. I get the feeling she's gonna ultimately end back at the grand central room though, but for now, at least I got myself a little treasure chest here. What do we got? Royal shield, personally something they don't really need, but I guess I'll take it. I know it's more useful than the kite shield and whatever, but I think, mm, I don't need this many mighty zonite shields, right? Then again, I already have a royal shield, but no, 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 we'll, we'll get rid of this one. All right, there, now I've got options. I, I guess I don't have room for the soldier's bow either. Uh, We'll get rid of the strength and Lysel bow. Okay, there we go, I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. All right, still need to figure out how to get back inside, right? Cause this, this isn't like a pathway along, is it? This is just blocked off. Oh, well, I guess I can go around the top. See if I can find myself a door. <laughs> All right, it's something of an inverted maze. Like I already have the layout of the maze. I just gotta figure out how to get to the central point that I desire but I'll figure it out. I'm the walkthrough, and I've got Zora armor and I've got it all. Well, I, actually this armor is not upgraded because I needed more Lizalfos those parts of all things, but I've got all sorts of other things that can help me. I've got the Master Sword. I've got all sorts of other powerful weapons. This area is giving me all sorts of bows that I could, or all sorts of arrows and bows for that matter that I could use. Oh, uh, uh I kind of want to go for those. because I know I can easily climb back up here. Blue Book Goblin Horn, that'll be useful in the future. If nothing else, I can always sell it for rupees. Okay. And again, I want to point out, I'm liking the atmosphere here, but man, it is not saving the overall layout of this of this castle. They really are capitalizing on the fact that it is something of a maze. Okay, I mean, it's it's amazing how they built this whole thing. And yeah, I, I, I feel like everything's gonna come back to the sanctum. So, I, I think it would be in my best interest to maybe put down a little pad, a, a warp pad. Let me see. Sorry, I'm, I'm at the wrong thing. I need I'm forgetting where all my stuff is apparently. Here we go. Just place that here, my travel medallion. Let's set that down here. And that way, in case I drop down and completely miss where I need to go, I can just warp back up here and, and try again, right? So, this is kind of where I just was, kind of, sort of. There's more Lizalfos here. Hey, I need to eliminate you in order to upgrade my Zora armor anyway. Just making sure I have your picture. I do. All right, what's up? Boom, 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 boom. Yes, I got a ranged weapon as well. All right. I will slay every enemy here if it means getting over to where Princess Zelda is. Come here, Lizalfos. Come here, Lizalfos. Are you ready? No, you're not. Here, I got I got some shock fruit for you. Hooray right, for shock value! Instant defeat! Awesome! You blew the horn just in time for you to meet your demise. Okay. Maybe I should just drop back down here then. But this is like too far down. If I don't want to go too far, I, I guess I can just go back to the waterfall and figure it out. Right? Because I still need to be on this upper castle area somehow, some way, I just don't know how to actually enter the parts that I, I need to get into. So we'll shoot back up to the sky, thanks to the waterfall ability. Okay, and then I'm just back over here. I'm just back over here, I guess I could, yeah, I can make my way over to this waterfall, mash the X button enough times. Forgive me, I, I will figure this out, I just don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, I'm gonna figure it out. Oh, that's not really what I wanted at all. Okay, okay, back, back down then. There you go, that's a little better. Okay, but I don't need, this just takes me back to the sanctum. So I gotta work my way down. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe it is better for me to go back to the shrine or something and work backwards from there because I had a better understanding of where everything was at that point. Or, frankly, maybe I do need to go back down to the lower part. Maybe this upper castle part is not where I need to be. Oh, well that's where the shrine is anyway. So there's no point in warping now. Hmm, here we go. Here's an entryway into the castle. Hyrule Castle B2. I gotta get to B3, so. Start here, back at the library. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm gonna be here a lot, but as long as one of these alleyways, as long as one of these hallways gets me down to the floor that I need, then I should be comfortable. And I imagine I'm missing a lot of Koroxies along the way, but you know what? I'll just get them at a more appropriate time because there will be more appropriate times. Okay, this takes me back up. That's not what we want. It's gonna take you, oh, well, hang on. Are you in here? Are you just in the library? Was I correct all along? Because I'll gladly fight you in the li- Oh, you are just in the library. Ah, well, I guess you do prefer literature. Oh, hello! Okay, if I pop that, there you go. 
There you go, that's gonna make them all explode. And sure, I'll gladly take all the choo-choo jelly. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. And then just a good old Henox. Well, I couldn't quite get the ice choo-choo jelly, but I can still stab you in the rear. Woo, that did a lot of hearts, huh? That did a whole lot of hearts. I have your picture, yep, black Henox, yep. Nothing I haven't fought before. If I just keep willing on you, I can probably take you up before you even get another chance to strike. Here you go. There you go, or I gotta backflip. Oh, okay, all right, all right, I'm okay, I'm okay. We're almost done. We see one arrow to the eye. There you go, woo, that did a lot too. Awesome, okay. Can't quite get the Royal Claymore, but that's fine. I usually prefer one-handed weapons anyway. It's like the amber though. The amber's good. Royal Broadsword, yes, 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 yes. I guess I should eat all of that right now, huh? So we'll go over to the food. Yes, let's have a feast. Oh, Zelda, you're missing out. I think you'd really like a lot of this. That Henox really had all the best stuff. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I think that'll do it. All right, where'd you go now, Zelda? What floor are you on? Just still over here? All right, still on this floor, okay. I will chase you through the staircase then, and I will go down these hallways and I'll eliminate whatever enemies I have to. Frankly, it's benefiting me because I wanted to get all of these pieces of enemy parts in order to upgrade my armor regardless. Hello. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I gotta fight you with elemental powers. Okay, so I got shock fruit for you. Boom. Instantly eliminated. Cool. Take the Gibdo bone. All right. It's a bunch of Gibdo stuff, huh? Well, then let's go for some fire fruit then. Let's set this place ablazing. There you go. Boom, right there. Should be instant or not. Do I have elemental weapons on me? I should have something. Yeah, the ruby rod. I knew hanging on this for so long would come in handy. Boom, instantly eliminated. Cool, cool, cool. That's the way to do it. And sure, I will gladly take the Gibdo wings and all that good stuff too. All right, what else we got, Zelda? Where are you at now? I know there's more. B1, mm, not too far away from my own travel medallion. But if I keep going up the stairs here, where would this take? Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll go through the stairs, but I'm getting my weapons back out. I'm getting a uh, cobble crusher halberd. Now I'll fight you with the Soldier 4 Reaper. All right, here we go then. I'll go through here. There probably was some sort of designated path that I'm supposed to follow in order to actually find you. So maybe this is something like a tutorial on how to actually get through these castle parts. Oh yeah, and the Horror of Lens. Yeah, I do, I do wanna fight more of you because I've been using your body parts lately on a lot of my weapons. Here you go. There you go, that's fine. I got more Demon King's bow. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. I just fire enough arrows. And you know what? Actually, on that note, yeah, just blast them to smithereens. There you go. That should do it. Cool. Okay, I would like these, please. All right, now it looks like I gotta, I gotta fight you the old-fashioned way. Boom. Get them all out of here. Well, don't, don't knock them too far, though. I'd still like to pick up their remains. There we go. That one's done. Yes, the Horriblin Hallway, as I shall now be calling it. Yeah. This is actually why I wasn't too opposed to using Horriblin parts later, or, or, or earlier, because I knew I was gonna get more Horriblin parts later. All right, boom. Oh, hey, here's one of my arrows. Okay, now do I have to fight the Horriblins? No, but I feel like it's a good time for me to capitalize on getting their stuff. Okay, boom, boom, boom. See, they're not that hard to defeat. So boom, I'll take this. There we are. All right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, I guess I'll just stick to the path. If I just keep walking or running along here, I should be able to find everything that I need. Hmm, any sort of, oh yeah, right. I gotta fight the like likes as well. I mean, actually, I don't have to do anything but I will do it. And since I know ice is weak to fire, that should immediately wear you down and then I can destroy you from here and get myself a nice ice like like stone and a treasure chest. Okay, what's inside the treasure chest? Oh yeah, and the ice fruit. Yep, I'll take that as well. Royal bow. Yep, I could use another bow, so I'll take it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, moving right along then. And then in similar vein, we have the fire like like. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, I could go ahead and just shoot you with regular choo-choo jelly, which gives me a water effect. And that's kind of like a weakness for you. And then I can get, oh, if I can aim. There you go, I hit it. Oh, you're just inside the gloom. You're making this a miserable experience, which I imagine is the whole point. Boom, okay. Yeah, just go ahead and dangle it right there. I'll hit it like it's some sort of punching bag. There you go. Or in my case, it's more like a stabbing bag. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Gotta make sure I get the fire like like stone, because that's an item that's unique to you. Okay, so let's see what's inside this treasure chest, huh? No more bows though. Or it's another royal bow. Okay, well, I... I'm gonna leave it. I don't need this one. I know it's more powerful than the, than the Fennec bow, but I need that in case I get struck by lightning later. It does not conduct electricity. Oh, is this path a dead end? Was there no point to me going this way anymore? Because I do need to go down. 
Uh, it looks like there's an entryway if I go back a little bit, right? If I'm understanding this map correctly. And I mean, I might not be. I might not understand a single thing about this map. Let's see, in here, in here, here we go. We'll go down these stairs. There we go, the map immediately switched over in the lower right corner. Thank you very much for that. And then I can go ahead and hop over here and hopefully I can find me some princess stuff. All right, so now back out this way, I imagine. Which way am I going? I gotta go to B1. So I go this way. I guess I can go all the way around. I, all right, maybe there is a way for me to cut through the middle here. Maybe this isn't as much of a tutorial as I thought. Oh, this is too far down now. I'm too far down now. Gosh darn it, I didn't think this was gonna make me dive all the way down here. Is my spring thing still here? I don't know, I don't know anymore. We got the first gatehouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's nice stuff here. Hey, I can even do a little cooking here. You know what, I will do a little cooking here. I will absolutely do that, here. All right, I should have some fish. Yeah, where's my Staminoka bass? I should have a couple. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Or perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps I've got, no, I got hardy bass. Okay, well, we'll cook one of those real quickly. Just the one. Thought I had Staminoka bass, and either I do have it and I skimmed over it, or I just don't have any more at all. But the, boom, there's your hardy bass. There you go, full recovery, that'll come in handy. And just Hyrule bass, okay. Well, I've got Iron Shell, Bright-Eyed. Oh, replenishes my stamina. Okay, well then let's do a couple of those. Three crabs, please. There we go. It's all about the stamina these days. Really gotta make sure I'm durable. Excellent. Okay, let's not do too much cooking now because we all know I'll get carried away with that. I've got bigger things at stake. Speaking of steak, let me go ahead and cook a steak real quickly. <laughs> all right, I'm doing this just for the bit, just for the stupid joke. All right, do I have any more meat? I should. I should have all sorts of prime meat. Yeah, look at that. Okay, boom, boom. And then one of those, please. All right, and then that should do it. And then I'll work back up to my travel medallion or the shrine or something, and then I'll work my way back down. <laughs> Maybe I should have just kept to the path. I don't know. I understand that I probably blew it. Here, but I will consume that at least. So coming down here was not a complete waste of time. All right, back up top then. So, we're gonna want to, yeah, we're gonna go back to the travel medallion. My map will change once more. I will work my way down, but hopefully I won't go too far down to the point where I can't reaccess the castle. All right, but I might, I might have just like messed up my little path. But Zelda's making her way down. I would have thought she'd be making her way up, or maybe she is making her way up. I, I, don't, I don't know how to navigate these castles, man. Castles are not my area of expertise, all right? You think with all the Mario games I played, I'd be more of a castle crasher, but no, not quite. All right, where are we going? B1, so I just gotta go down the one floor. I, that, that I can do, okay? I can go down the one floor. I can even take out some Bacoblin if I really desired. But I don't desire that much. Okay, if I go over here, there's, there must, like, am I on the proper floor now? Where, where am I now? I am not. There's gotta be some way down there. Oh, ha. Okay, so there is gonna be some sort of gate over here that'll bring me, okay, yeah, Hyrule Castle B1. This is where I need to be. Now I gotta go ahead and find that entrance. Okay, so what I need, uh, this said I was on B1. Okay, now I'm on B2. Okay, I, I gotta get back up there, which I can absolutely do. I can go back through the Horriblin hallway. Or, or, what other Zone A devices do I have? I'm gonna be a little crafty now. Let's see, Hoverstone. Mm, do I have rockets? I have the one rocket. Hmm, okay. Let's go ahead and just take out a hot air balloon. And we'll take out uh, a cart. And we'll take out, I must have a flame emitter, right? Yeah, here we go. Don't worry, I'll, I'll make shift this real quickly. So we'll put this on the cart. There you go. This is just so I can stand on it. Okay, and then one of these. This is just so I can climb back up more easily and more quickly. Yeah, this is the time for me to use Zonai devices, right? Let's go up. Up and at them. All right, this will take me back to floor B1. I've got plenty of battery charge. I'll head right back up there and then Let's see what part it, in which it clicked. Oh, uh, yeah, I can probably just jump through here, right? There we go. Hooray for expertly crafted design. Princess Zelda's room. Oh, I guess it would make sense that it, it would be in your room, huh? Is this where you want it? Oh, nope, it's more enemies. Okay, no worries. I should have known. I, I still stand by the fact that this is probably all going to end in the sanctum. But hey, 
This has at least forced me to navigate the castle. These are places I probably had to explore in order to get 100% completion in the game anyway. There you go. And these are elemental Lizolfos enemies that I could have taken out more quickly had I used elemental weapons myself. But sometimes pure power is just the way to go. All right, so that's done. Grab all these, grab these arrows. Yeah, all this good stuff. Okay, where else are we going? Where are we going now? Back to B3, huh? Not exactly convenient for me, but then again, you're not really trying to make this convenient for me, are you? The good news is, is because it's on B3 and there's an entranceway right over here, I should just be able to jump back outside the window, glide down, and find out where I'm going. Oh, is that is this actually how I was meant to enter this way? I mean, it, it is an opening, that's what I saw. Okay, got it. So this is gonna be B2, which means just down here should be B3. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go too far off this now. Here we go. Back down here, so this is B2 that I'm on now? It is, which means I gotta go over there in order to get to B3. No, I should, I should be able to go down this little lip here. There should be a little platform here that should catch me. And hang on, am I looking at this? Sorry to keep opening the map. It's gonna be to my left. Over here is where I need to go. And if I need to glide back, Hyrule Castle B3. Stick to it, Link, thank you. Got it, well this is how I guess I was expected to enter this part. Hello, Zelda. This is not the end of our chase, is it? This is just another part that you need me to slay enemies in. What enemy are we talking about though? Oh, one of you, a moblin? Don't mind if I do. Oh, woo! Ice, whoa, that did a lot. That did so much, what the frick? Okay, hang on. I am gonna grab all those. That's handy. And you know what? Maybe I should fight with the elements. I got some yellow choo-choo jelly I can use. There you go, that did some decent damage. All right, time for me to wail on you. Okay, maybe not with that weapon, but with another weapon in general. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the, yeah, this, here we go. Boom, 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 look at all that damage. Why did that one swing of yours do so much damage though? That's crazy. Still, defeating you will give me some hefty reward since you're a silver moblin. I'll take the Knight's Claymore. I'll take these, yes, moblin guts, that's the good stuff. All right, did I get all the key stuff? No, I did not, I'm glad I checked. And I can probably smash this open for some arrows or something. Boom, yes. Oh, lots of arrows, glad I did that. Okay, next up. We're gonna consume some food. We're gonna do the full restore. Awesome. Now where are we going? We're still on B3. But you, you're really like bringing me all around the castle, huh? All right, so this is not connect, this is a dead end. It might still be worth looking at this anyway. All right, we'll ascend up and out of here. This might take me up to the next floor, but it should allow me to more easily access the next area of entry. So now you need me to go down to the south side. You need me to, I'm gonna sit like something right there. Okay, we're going to the red mark. Got it, I really am supposed to like jump off and weave my way around the castle. There really is no one specific way to get to where I need to go, right? Like if I go down this staircase here, uh, I mean, it kind of sets me on the right path. Going down the stairs, uh, but, but I think it's better if I jump off here and work my way backwards. Might be a little faster. Maybe there is an intended path and I am completely missing it, but this is how I'm choosing to do things now. So on B3, Hang on, wait, how far down are we going? Maybe I do need to take those stairs down before I go down just a little too far, huh? Oh, all right, never mind. Forget what I said about 10 seconds ago. We are taking the stairs down because I need to see where it goes. So we'll get rid of this. This will take me down. And then this one, yeah, okay, I guess I kind of do need to do that. Like there is another entryway here, but the, at least this one will connect. So I'm coming back down here. All right, and then I'll go to the left of this hallway. And what, you want to fight in the hallway, Zelda? Sorry. I know it's not you at this point. It seems it seems a little obvious. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get it! Here we go. Boom. Nope. I'm, I'm taking my arrow back. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Good hit, you Nobo. I was just mashing A there, but hey, I'm glad that worked out. Okay, I'll get my shock fruit and my like-like stone. And what's inside the treasure chest? More weapons that I probably don't need, but I'll inspect it anyway. Royal shield. Well, it's better than one of the other royal shields I probably have, right? So we'll go ahead and drop this other one that I obtained recently. Very good. All right. And then, take my like-like stone. Got it. Yep, this has all been a great time for me to farm weapons and items that I can use for upgrading armor. Yeah, here we go, and then I'm just getting some shields. Royal bow, give me quick shot. Uh, sure, maybe it's better than the other royal bow I have. Great. I'm not super concerned about durability. I'd kind of like to start going through these a little more. Okay, say ah. That's not you saying ah, that's you going thoo, 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 thoo. That's you saying ah, very good. There we go. All right. Oh, hey. Now the game took control away from me. I think we got a cutscene coming up. Link, I am waiting. 
Waiting. Waiting for you. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like you're waiting. Okay, let's see what's inside this. Another royal shield. Is that better than the other royal shield that I just got? It is. All right, cool. I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, hang on. I want the like, like stone. All right, and are you at, are you at the sanctum now? You are. That's exactly why I set this here. So I'll warp back over here. This should be faster than me just using ascend and climbing back up here. And then as soon as I get up here, I'll take my travel medallion back. I'll change my armor back. I'll swap out back to my master sword. And then we'll see what the heck is going on with you, Zelda. Golly, it's called the Legend of Zelda. I'd like to understand what your legend is, your highness. What the heck are you doing? You're just slaying a bunch of enemies, or you're not even slaying enemies. You're sending a bunch of enemies at me for me to slay. You're having me slay a bunch of enemies. Very well then. And if this is the end, and it seems like it would be because I had a feeling it was gonna end up here, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself ready. All right, so we'll get this out. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get these items out because these give me a defense boost. All right, as for everything else, I got the shield, I got the sword, I got some bows and plenty of arrows. All right. Zelda, the game won't let me hurt you even if I wanted to, but I don't want to fight you. Though I do want to know what the heck is going on. At last, I have been waiting for you to arrive. Now, Link, there is something here I want to show you. <laughs> what do you think? Hyrule Castle, perfect and glorious. Does it awaken memories? Memories of our time here? Well, really take in every detail. After all, this place be the last thing you ever see. The fabled swordsman who endured my corruption, who has persisted in slaughtering my servants. Interesting. How is it that you survived my attack? It must have been that wretched one. to see another sunrise. Did my puppet entertain you? She made it so easy to mislead you, to keep you occupied. But such an indirect approach is no longer needed. End this hero's life, my dark servant. Cut him down. I want to say that during that little cutscene, my controller was vibrating as these little phantom Ganons started showing up, so it definitely made that cutscene a lot more enjoyable. Made me go, ooh. Okay, well, I already have your photo. So I guess we can just start fighting. Okay, my Master Sword's glowing. Let's get this a go. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, and I got the flurry rush. Exactly what I wanted, but I didn't think I was actually going to get it. There you go. Is this phantom Ganon done? That one's down. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, oh, okay. All right, what else we got? Demon King's bow and a gloom sword. Okay, I mean, I know I can do a ton of damage with the Gloom Sword, but let's go ahead and just use the, the Master Sword right now. It seems most appropriate. There we go. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, all right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, hang on there. Hang on there a moment, buddy. There you go, got that. Oof, okay, all right. I'm hanging in there. Going, 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 going. Gonna fight all the Ganons. Gonna fight all the Ganons. I can do it. I got plenty of armor. I got plenty of power. I got plenty of courage. Let's go. Okay. But wait, after I defeat you, it's still saying you still have half a health bar left.
Time for round two. Still just Phantom Ganon. Very well. What if I blast you to smithereens with a mass with a with a bomb flower? How about that? That good? I do some damage to you? Okay, but this time I gotta like navigate around the gloom. I could switch over to some different weapons. There you go. And to, to some different armor. Take advantage of this. Oh, the gloom's gone? Cool. I'm in support of that. Okay. I could also just have Unobo fire at them, and if you just want to keep slaying on them, that works too. Woo! Oh, that, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would have. Although, th that these look like weapons I've never obtained before. Are you gonna drop those? Because I would like to get a picture of them for my for my collection. There we go. Yeah, what the heck is this? A Gloom Club. That sounds like it does a ton of damage. And it's one less photo I have to get for the future. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pick it up. A metal stick filled with madness and symbolic of doom. Its forceful strike can smash an object to pieces. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Okay, cool. Got it. So the more you use it, the more worn down you get. But in exchange, you get a super powerful strike, and that's before you even fuse it with another item. Good to know. Uh, what what what's a weapon I don't really need to have on hand? Oh yeah, I don't I don't need the sturdy wooden stick. I'll grab one of these. Figured I may as well optimize my time while I've saved the world and all that. Boom! All right. And here we go. Gloom spear. Well, oh, hang on. Let me let me take a better picture of that. Gloom spear, huh? Man, it's gloomy in here. All right, sure, I'll take that. I imagine this is similar. A spear whose ominous appearance strikes fear into hearts. It is said to cost its bearer a part of their soul because its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Okay, so it's super powerful, but the more you fight with it, the more you hold it, the more gloom damage it does to your hearts. A fun enough concept. I'm willing to take one in place of a thick stick. All right, Ganon, if you're ready, then I'm ready. Why so gloom, Mr. Doom? Let's slash you up. Time to... Glow with the flow, the glow of my master sword. There you go, yeah, no more gloom, okay? All about that glow. Can't carry any more melee weapons? Maybe that's for the better. Okay, there you go, and then there's you, and you should be the last one. So be it. Unless, of course, there is some sort of final boss that I have to do all of this, or is that the end? I don't quite feel comfortable yet. It seems there is more to you than the power Raru has gifted. But not much more. Link, we are here! What is this thing? You do not recognize me. Perhaps there are limits to the knowledge the secret stones impart. You stand before Ganondorf. The foolish actions of your ancestors served only to delay my ascension. Allow me to show you, show you, the world that was and will be again when I have been restored. Demon King we were warned about? 
It all really happened? This is Dyer, the Demon King, the man who nearly destroyed the world, Ganondorf. With his return, everyone's in danger. Oh, this isn't good. If that really was him, oh, we're in real trouble. Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Link, you should come too. Well, hey! Okay, so a couple of things. One, there was a part of me that thought I was gonna fight the final boss there, and I was like, no, no, no way, really? Well, I guess I am in Hyrule Castle. This is where I fought the final boss in Breath of the Wild. And then I was like, well, I guess if this is where I fight the final boss, then I could spin this somehow. Sure, part 99, part 100, I fight the final boss. Oh, but there's still plenty of post game for me to do, right? Okay, but I am glad that I'm not fighting the final boss no now. I'm, it makes, for the organization of this walkthrough, so much better. Number two, what do you know? There is another heart container. I made comments earlier when I finished all of the shrines and cashed in all of my lights of blessings that I thought it was suspicious that the amount of hearts that I have only ended up here. I had a feeling there would be one more heart container because having three, le three more hearts on the second row made more sense to me than having four hearts remaining on the second row. So now I will gladly go ahead and obtain this heart container. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, gladly take that. And that way, there's room for three extra hearts that would be yellow hearts if I consumed food that would give me bonus hearts. Okay, well, I guess on that note then, let's go back to Lookout Landing and see what everyone has to say. Are they all gonna be there? Are, are they all just gonna abandon their posts and go back over to Lookout Landing? Because if so, isn't that kind of what Ganondorf wants is for us to be completely vulnerable? Even so, I'm more than okay with getting outside of Hyrule Castle right now and going back to Lookout Landing. I mean, it's kind of where I started this part, so it's, I'm more than a-okay continuing the part over here. Also, does Impa have any idea what's going on? Because that's really where I started this part. Should Impa be involved in this? I mean, she's back at Kakariko Village. I, don't, I, I think we're fine. I'm here on her behalf, I suppose. All right, now where are we meeting? Are we meeting back up by Pura? Should I talk to Pura? Are you over by, oh yeah, you're all here. You know, hey. I know this probably isn't the best time, but you think I could snap a selfie with everybody? Oh, I never got a picture of my Master Sword? That can't be right. Well, then here. Let's get a picture of the Master Sword real quickly. Hang on a second. Let me take off, let me take off the bow, because the bow was clearly getting in the way. All right, remove. All right, here we go, boom. Why can't I get it? Why can't I get it? Everything else is in the way. Oh my god. It'll, it'll let me take a photo of anything but the Master Sword. All right, one more time. Let's get a little closer. Okay, and then we'll do boop. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure... What, what pose can I do that actually gets the Master Sword in the shot? Like, come on. That, if I zoom in... Ugh. How, how far do I actually gotta zoom in? Okay. Wow, once everyone's actually in focus, I can't take the picture anymore, huh? That worked for a second. Really? You're sooner gonna focus on the boulder breaker on Yunobo than my Master Sword. Okay, hang on, timing. I'm, I'm like moving my, con there. That's not a great photo, but it'll have to do. That's my Master Sword photo, okay? Oh, it, 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 didn't, it didn't even count. There you go, well that's a better photo then. There you go, Master Sword. And one less photo that I have to buy from Robbie. Surprised I never got one before. Okay, can I get like an actual selfie with you guys or is a cutscene gonna play out automatically? Okay, here we go. Just in case I die or something, you know? There you go, let's, let's zoom out a bit. There you go. How about... Yeah, there you go. That way you got Yunobo and Sidon in the picture. Very good, I'll hang on to that one. Sounds good to me. Okay, now to actually take matters into my own hands. Pira, what do you suggest? Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So, how did it go? Uh, I was close to the verge of death and everyone had to leave their posts to come and help me. I see, so to summarize, there's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imprisoning War. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. Well, that's what I said, she's busy being a dragon right now. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something, oh, I knew something seemed weird. 
I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule, but it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. So then that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually there? Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Yes, we should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Our ancestors made a vow to Princess Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Aww. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. Aww. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? <gasps> hmm, based on what you each have told me, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Oh. Right you are! We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act! Mm. Hmm, but without any leads. Mm. Oh, wait! You said that six sages were with King Raru when he fought against the Demon King during the imprisoning war, right? Wind? Fire? Water? Lightning! Hmm. And time! That was the princess. Oh! Wow. I see! Huh? What is it? What do you see? That's it! There was one more sage back then! Exactly! One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well worth our while to search. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. Hmm. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends? They're as good a place as any to start. If we just randomly searched all of Hyrule, we'd probably never find the sage. Hmm. All right, we have a plan. Let's split up the work and get to it. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. Yep. Well, I like that the other characters are actually a lot more involved. Oh, find the fifth sage. All right, new main quest. I like that the other characters are actually a lot more involved in this game. It's definitely more inclusive than Breath of the Wild was. I like that. All right, seems we have a new main quest to tackle, but I will tackle it in the next part, because for now, that wraps up this part of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos, but for now, bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh!